in my C7 Corvette, one part that gets a lot of use and abuse is that center console. You know that spot, that little mystery area between the driver's seat and the passenger seat? There's usually like a little, a little, like a stand, like a little armrest kind of thing, okay? And I'll be honest with you, they get a lot of use and abuse. And sometimes you do have to do a little maintenance on your car. Yes, you do. And it's not that big of a deal, okay? This is something you can do. I may have a future video with uh, do it yourself, how to fix the problem to tighten the leather up, okay? But another route is to actually buy a whole pre-done uh, lid, okay? And if you go back in my queue, you'll see I'd, I've already placed it once. And this is actually the second time I'm replacing the center thing. And you know what? Does it look bad? No, it's okay, you know. But, you know, I like my car to look its very best, you know. I love my C7 Corvette. And I like to take care of it with fine quality parts and maintenance, okay? So that's where this comes in. I'm going to go ahead and open this up here for you and give you a little peek at this. Okay, so this is how it came. And this is one where... So they basically, I was a company, you know, resurfacing them and uh, reselling them. And I will have a link for some of the tools you can do to do this yourself. It's really not that hard. And again, in a future video, I may actually show you the process. For me, I work a lot of hours and I just wanted to make sure that I had it done and I wanted to go ahead and not deal with some of the, the do-it-yourself crafty part of this. But it's something which um, is great if you can do it yourself, if you have the time and the tools for it to do it yourself. And I will have a link for some of the tools like the spray adhesive and that kind of thing down below from Amazon. So it's really easy to get this stuff. It's not like, you know, rocket scientists or brain surgery or something. This is something you honestly can do yourself. Now they packed it very nice. I do appreciate that too. It's nicely packed. So I know we're gonna have a, a good little armrest here. Let me show this to you. And you can see how it comes. Now, this is this particular one here uses the backing from my old one, okay? And then it uses this top part. And you can see, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, that looks nice, guys. Like, this is going to look awesome in my C7 Corvette. I can just tell, like, my the one that's in there isn't bad, you know? But sometimes, like, especially through time and wear and, you know, I drive my car by C7 every single day and I drive it hard, man. So it's like, it gets a lot of use and abuse. And this is an area which gets a lot of use, you know, and even if you, someone's going over a center thing or puts a knee on it or something, like it can actually get bent down or you lose a little of its, you know, perfectly level appearance. So it's the type of thing where you want to keep it nice. And this is real easy to install. It's basically just a couple screws right here and it goes under your current part and it snaps in. It's not a big deal, okay? Now the trickiest part of this process probably is this little hinge here, that there is actually a spring, which is spring loading this part right here, separate from the spring that locks out in there, okay? So just make sure when you're reassembling, it's not really hard, but there is a spring, don't wanna lose the part. Okay, that'll keep this from bouncing, you know, keep, allows it to bounce back into the locked position. And you can see there's two different spring actions going here, one for this part here, and one for this part here. Do not lose your parts, okay? Important safety tip. Another tip is it actually uses the 10 size uh, ratchet. Okay, so this is one of the hex ratchets here. So you can use like a little mini one or a screwdriver, but I find the ratchet worked really well. And these little stoppers here, originally I thought they were like glued down or something, but they're really not. They just kind of push into the hole. So just make sure you have the screw tightly in there. You know, you don't want to strip it either, but just have it in there good. And then go ahead and just press it in. For example, you can see no glue or anything. Right there, there's a thing. You can see we're just gonna pop it in the hole just like that, press it down, and it just kind of goes in. It will stick out just a little bit, and that's normal. And um, these come out just as easily. If you use a real small screwdriver, like a jeweler screwdriver, you can pull that out without damaging it, which is good too. But there is no adhesive or anything like that, so very easy. And here you can see the beautiful leather all ready to go, and ready to go into my C7 Corvette. All assembled, everything's working good. We got the latches working nice. All the springs are working as they should be. So very, very good. Really not hard, you can do this yourself. But um, anyway guys, this is something where you can actually fix this yourself. So if you're looking to learn how to fix yourself, shoot me a little message tuxtoys at gmail.com. I almost bit my tongue there. I like, uh, it's something you can do, okay? And all it takes is a little bit of adhesive, a little bit of time. Basically what you have to do is you have to stretch the leather, which you can see, like you can almost see the adhesive right in through there, where it's like done and kind of pulled. And you can use some clamps, keep it real tight. And you can see the, the end product really looks stunning. It looks really, really good. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about Corvette care or any sports car care for that matter, 
shoot me a message, type toys at gmail.com. It'll give me an idea for your future video and I'll try and help you out, okay? All right, friends, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Uh, be sure and check down below for those links and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.